And here we go. Sig Ep out to prove that they are the top team in Buggy. But Spirit B having something to say about that as well. Really nice up into the hill one, having a bit of a lead here against that Sig Ep A squad. Looking to make the transition to one to two now. Both teams have caught up pretty much neck and neck in that shove. Who's gonna get to hill two first and how will that push go? Wow. They're coming around right here. Again, neck and neck. A SIG -ep A getting a bit of separation, a late push pretty far down, and that's gonna be close. Is there contact there? No, it doesn't look like it. And Barracuda pulls into the lead there. Really deep push. Steve Crawford followed it all the way down the hill, trying to get the last little bump right before the free roll. And it seems like it helped. You know, we've seen that get away from teams before, yep. but he seemed to really capitalize on it and helped Barracuda get out in front. The Barracuda cruising right Right Just now, opening it up. Through the free roll. Also, to be noted, uh, CIA uh, had duct tape over their mouth as they pushed there. Uh, our timer is not quite working, but a really fast stop sign time right there. Yeah, just flying down the course. And can't even see Spirit from where we're sitting right now. Yeah, the free roll here has really opened it up. You can see Barracuda's rolling on all cylinders. Nice and that shoot. is a That's tight gonna do shoot it. line oh. right there. A little bit of wobble now as they come out of that. Let's see how that affects things on the back hill. Still pretty good momentum coming up here into three. If she can keep that straight line, which she just did a really good job of coming out of hill three, then it can be okay. And it looks like uh, he's picked up the buggy very well. And Alp now pushing it up. Great hill three right here. He's trying to transition to Anthony Corletti. And we can see Haraka in the back. Anthony Rocka, but still you can see how much space there are between really these two lot. squads looking to get the timing system back up and try and figure out what exactly the time that SIG -Ep A is rolling here but it's looking to be pretty good as they're transitioning into the hill five James Solomon going to be the one who closes it out for them really great push off there we're going to see a really fast hill five from James Solomon again he did it last year really great time look they're already at 157 here so we're going to see maybe around 20, 210 maybe and here we are now at two minutes 201 Haraka, a bit behind right there. It's 206, 207, 208, 209. Point five nine for Sigepe. Top time of the day, top time of the weekend. CIAD now there in the suit as well uh, on the Jumbotron right there. And Spirit B gonna come through here probably at 230-ish, I'm guessing maybe a little higher, 225. Yeah, maybe. My powers of estimation are not great. <laughs> What is great, though, is the sense of style of this CIAD squad right here. They've transitioned into the Hill 5 right there. You know they have to run with their legs in a suit, right? I mean, that's... That, that could not be fun. <laughs> On those potholes and dress shoes, uh, good for them and good really for Sigep A. Really, really nice roll yeah, right we're there. Yeah, wrong. Sub 210. I did not think that was going to happen. I, you know, I'm... Not only, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, this is a really great time for a team that has always been close there with contenders, and this year really, really delivered. Yep, and the pressure.